hey guys welcome to my channel it's calendar here if this is your first time thank you so much for joining me if you're a telling subscriber thank you so much for stopping back by in today's video i'm just going to be sharing with you guys how i color correct my hyper pigmentation and I'll just show you guys how i come home looking like this to this i get a ton of questions from people that know me like how do i color correct my hyper pigmentation to color correct my hyperpigmentation, I use two products. The first one, it is the LA Girl Pro Concel in the shade Orange Corrector. And I also go in with the LA Girl Concealer Pro Concel in the shade Fawn. I'm almost out. What the Orange Color Corrector does is that it conceals the darkness. It won't be as dark as it is before color correcting. And you can actually use a peach one as well. It helps to, uh, to correct the darkness i also use the the concealer just so that it gives me more coverage that i need then yeah you can just use whichever one you choose you can, i prefer using this one because it's very inexpensive it's easily accessible you can get this in this game for the past two years i was like obsessed with the orange color pointer but beginning of this year i've only been using a concealer to correct my pigmentation is to like conceal my pigmentation but on one side on this side i am gonna go in with the orange color corrector and then on the other side i'm just gonna use the concealer that's what i use yeah and this and this ella girl color corrector is very very pigmented it's so orange so make sure that you blend it in properly And then on the other side, I'll just go in with the, with the concealer. I just want to show you guys that even if you don't have the orange color corrector, you can still be able to conceal and correct your, you know, your, your pigmentation and your dark spots, your acne scarring, whatever it is that you feel like you want to conceal and correct with just using a concealer as well. Because sometimes, they, yes, you know, the orange corrector can be very intimidating because you have to feel like I have to blend it all this one and just peek through my foundation I'm letting it sit for a little bit because once the concealer sets into your skin it ensures that the concealer is set into your skin it won't move when you start blending it to blend it up instead of using a beauty blender which i only recommend because that will soak out a lot of product I'd rather use a foundation brush a, yeah, rather use a brush or a foundation brush which is more dense is that will just pack in all the products and it won't just take out a lot of products as well as spread it onto other areas where you don't need the orange color corrector so for that i'm just going to use a very small brush which is very dense When it comes to foundation, I prefer using foundation which are more on the fuller coverage side as that will fully cover all my hyperpigmentation. So my two my my go-to to full coverage foundation, the first one is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear and the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. And my shade in this is is caramel, and in here my shade is hazelnut number 330. I prefer using more of this one because this one is very lightweight, it's sweat proof. I live where it's very hot, so it's very, very suitable for more hot weather as you will not sweat at all. When I apply my foundation, I normally start on the areas where I did not color correct. Is I, I don't want to put a lot of products on these areas. I want to concentrate more products on the areas where I have the hyperpigmentation. And as usual, I always just use a foundation brush. And I like working section because I feel like I have more control over the product that I'm putting on my skin. Yeah, 
as you can tell can we see any of my pigmentation they've all been covered by the full coverage foundation as well as the color correcting as it cancelled out all the darkness and the concealer it covered all the darkness is once i'm done applying my foundation i'll go in with a damp sponge and just on the outer areas of my face just there very lightly just to remove all the excess foundation very very lightly was like going in with a concealer again just a little bit on the areas where I can see that's just a little bit of darkness As you can see, all the darkness, the hyperpigmentation, everything is gone. My face now looks one. I just look like I have one color on. And that is the aim. That's the purpose of color correcting using a very full coverage foundation. I want to make sure that all the, everything just looks one. I'll just go do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. And this is it. If you guys have any tips and tricks that you use to color correct and conceal your hyperpigmentation, dark spots, acne scarring, that whatever it is that you have please uh do let me know in the comment section down below definitely like to try those out and if you have any other brand that you use for color corrector let me know as i'm trying to find the other new one that i can use i just try i just want to try a lot of things and switch one works based i'm actually eyeing the um, next one we'll probably try to get it as soon as i travel because well if we don't have any sh any drug any drug store shop that stocks next and i uh, hope you guys enjoy watching this video and if you do don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel as well as share with your family and friends and i upload weekly we'll see you guys in the next video bye